Yeah, the jury returned the verdict within an hour and a half. Lots of emotion today, including some relief from the family of Tori Smith. You swear or Ariel Robinson nothing about the truth, so help you guys. taking the stand on day four of her trial, accused of beating three-year-old Tori Smith to death. Tori died of multiple blunt force trauma. We had a good relationship. She was my mini me. She would talk like me, act like me. She wanted to go everywhere I went. She wouldn't do everything I did. She blamed Tori's death on her husband, Austin Robinson. Do you think Austin has anger issues? I think Austin has one of the scariest type of anger issues because he holds everything in and he doesn't let it out. And then when it does come out, it's too much because he bottles it up. Austin pleaded guilty to aiding and abetting homicide by child abuse and faces 10 to 20 years. Prosecutors say evidence shows it was Ariel and not Austin who beat Tori and countered with an Instagram post. This is a little Father's Day post you did for Austin, correct? Correct. A photo of Tori and Austin. There's not a daddy-daughter duo in the world who love each other more than these two right here. At one point in the post, saying the kids needed discipline. And I know that will never come from you. Happy Father's Day, babe. Love you bunches. Both sides made closing arguments, and after an hour and 20 minutes... We, the jury, unanimously, unanimously find the defendant guilty of homicide by child abuse. The judge Please sentenced Ariel to life in prison. I can say that in my 13, 14 years of being a judge, I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen anything like this. Um, not even approaching it. And we just want to thank everyone from the police, the first responders, the nurses, the doctors, the Christy and her team, the jury, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, and that family spokesperson you heard from there said that the family of Tori Smith would also like to see the maximum punishment here for Austin Robinson. It is not yet clear when he will be sentenced in Greenville. Taggart Houck, WYFF News 4.